Welcome in everybody. Before we get into this morning's update, I want to go over a quick synopsis of what is transpiring so far this morning. As we know, XRP had about a 10 to 12% drop yesterday. It has pulled back up. It's down 1.2% today, but we did move all the way down to the 45 cent level. We came back up to about 50 cents and currently are down 1.24% in the, like, the last 13 hours, down to the 49.27 cent level. We've broken down below the cup and handle formation and uh, we've been able to expand our short term bear flag so that we can see the exact setup of this formation. And in the immediate short term, if we want this to continue to bounce off of that cup and handle, we need to pull back up over 51.8 cents in immediate fashion. Otherwise, this could signal a further drop. We'll take a look how Ripple moved 200 million approximately XRP yesterday. So that has played into the sell off. We've got a little bit of news, which we will read over with the Ripple uh, moving 200 million tokens as it invites community suspicion. But then we're also going to go over the fact that XRP is in the spotlight as Russia confirms new BRICS payment system. And is XRP in the view as BRICS bridge currency? So we'll take a look at that and see if there is any truth or any bit to that rumor that XRP is going to be used as the bridge currency for the BRICS. That would be an unbelievable surge in um, confidence, I would say. A lot of liquidity would be pulled into XRP, but that is just speculation and conjecture right now. So we'll go over that during this update and see if there's any truth to it. We'll also go over, obviously, with Ripple with the 200 million um, XRP moved by Ripple. And we'll see what that is, uh, exactly what that's about. And we'll just see if there's anything else we need to look at for XRP. We'll take a look at Bitcoin as right now it's down about 800 points below 70,000 at 69,262. We'll take a look at the XRP market cap, which has lost $349 million today. or down 1.26% to $27.342 million, or 337 billion, I should say. So we'll see exactly how this is uh, moving along here. And we'll see the prospects of this weekend. Please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube recommends this video. By you hitting that like button, YouTube will recommend this. It will end up in the algorithm, which means that when somebody logs into YouTube and they type in XRP or they're just searching around for crypto content or just searching through the newsfeed as a whole, my content will pop up even if they're not subscribed to the channel. If you are subscribed to the channel, you're going to want to hit that like button so you can see my content as you're scrolling through the newsfeed if you want to continue to see updates. As it's become a very trying time for cryptocurrency, especially for XRP, as there's been a very big uh, black eye or sore spot put over um, XRP. But I believe uh, in these times, you want to be looking at an asset when everybody else is running away. The fact you can get more than two for a dollar right now is an unbelievable bargain. I believe before 2025 is the time to buy. As we've been talking about this during the accumulation phase for the last almost year and a half now. But it is in a very desirable spot for us to accumulate XRP. Even if it's through the XRP Bitcoin pairing as I bought another $50 um, yesterday. And then another $75 earlier in the day because it dropped down to the 6 6 I was around 6 6 4 I bought more and then 6 8 something more again. So I'm continuing to pile in. I'm over $5,300 invested of my own money in the XRP Bitcoin pairing to expand my uh, holdings of XRP. And it's an additional over 10,000 XRP now that I have accumulated through the XRP Bitcoin pairing. If you're looking to trade XRP like I do or the XRP Bitcoin pairing, look no further than the video description below and or pinned comments. You've got MEXC, which is how I trade any crypto that is available on the platform. XRP is there. No VPN required in the USA or worldwide. You don't need to feel like a criminal in a comparison. When I traded on BitUnix, and when I looked to buy $4,000 worth of XRP, I was getting 500 less XRP on Uphold than I was on BitUnix. So there is no reason to just give the exchange your money. There's no reason to give the exchange your money. It turned out to be over 7.5%, 8% on a buy and sell if I were to go that route. And I was able to pick up an additional 487 XRP via BitUnix for the same amount of money than if I were to buy it on Uphold. And you're going to get hit with that same fee on the buy and sell. And then if you're looking for, and you can spot and leverage trade there with the lowest fees in the USA. And then if you're looking for the XRP Bitcoin pairing, I buy Bitcoin and then I sell it into the XRP Bitcoin pairing on MACC. So you can take a look at that in the video description below and our pinned comments. Just new users in the USA are going to have a problem. Worldwide users are going to love it. 
So I'll give you a chance to hit that like button and we'll go through the intro in just a second. So please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube recommends this update. Don't forget to subscribe and join the over 21,600 subscribers and I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Good morning, 9.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Saturday, June 8th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM and Future Digibyte OG. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in from the great state of Michigan. So it's a nice morning here. It's about 62 degrees. I had to put on my North Face jacket just uh, just for the early morning, but it should get a little warmer here. I had some uh, up and down weather here. Some days cold, some days warm. We're in the midst of a cold spell here. But meteorological summer is coming up here towards the end of June, so we should be getting into some warmer temperatures. But this is how I prefer it. 60s and 70s, I couldn't be happier in the summer. So with XRP right now, we're down 1.2%, down to 49.28 cents. What happened yesterday? Well, it's pretty simple. We had a very big overzealous dump. I said yesterday during the live, if you were part of it, even though it pulled back up to just over 50 cents, it looks like a logical retest area is gonna be to come back down to that 48.5 cents. And it looks like the likelihood here is that if we do back test and we do do like some kind of W reversal, I'd be looking at about that 48.5 cents, maybe a little bit lower. But we'd be looking for some kind of some kind of formulation here that we do have a bottom here. It looks like we have one of those bull flag, bear flag setups. And we've seen this quite often as we've done technical analysis here over the last few years. You get this overzealous drop and then you get this very wide pullback. Which it looks like a bull flag sets up there. Which means that more than likely you'll swing up and even if rejected you'll come back up to like that 517 area. So that's what I'd be looking for. If it pulls down and holds somewhere around that 48 cent mark and then it pulls back up so down around create that double bottom here and then it could swing here and possibly even higher but at some point it looks like it's going to target this area that was the drop point at about 518 so i would not be surprised if we ended up retesting that area in the short term so i'm looking for a pull down to 48 about the 48 cent area Somewhere around that 48, it's about 48 and a half cents. I'm looking for a pull down to there. And then if we can create what looks like this double bottom, we could get some volatility to the top side and at least at minimum retest at 51.8 cents. That is the breakdown of the cup and handle. So I would not be surprised if we came down there. If 48 and a half cents breaks and we come back down to the swing low and we can hold there, that's at 45. But I, I wouldn't want it to come down there. If you're wanting to have some kind of pullback, you want to hold this at this, the illusion of a double bottom here after the wick down, and it would be in our best interest to hold around that 48 and a half cents. We are oversold even in the 45 now. Hourly's oversold, two hourly's oversold, four hourly's oversold, daily time frame is pushing up. So, I mean, it's been a very, very advantageous pull down here because now we've put ourselves in a slightly oversold here, even in the four hourly. So if we have this continuation down to 48 and a half cents, or even if it comes down to like 48, we're looking for that distinguished bottom here. And it would be a perfect spot if it could hold it around that 48 and a half cent. You're not looking for the big pullback on the wick. You're looking for where it designated the next support area, you come around, and then if it wants to create it around 48, 48.3, even down to 48 cents, it's fine. But we wanna see a universal pullback up. And then we could have a, explosive move if that were to happen um but we have to follow bitcoin as well so right now we're getting to bitcoin but first we'll look at the xp market cap down 1.38 percent or down 382.992 million to 27.315 billion and it's the same thing with the market cap we're going to look for this continued correction here down to about 26.943 billion so that's about another 400 million 
So when we're at about 800 million down on the day for XRP, that could be an opportune moment. And if this plays out, you've had a big wick pull up. It looks like a bull flag if it were to set up. You should retest back up towards that 29 billion. So there should be some kind of rebound in play here for XRP. We've got the Bitcoin price down $89 at 69,277 or 0.11%. Same thing with Bitcoin. It's showing this exact same setup. 68,800 if it wants to hold a back test. That would be your best opportunity here. It doesn't have as volatile of a pullback up though as XRP. But if we're gonna pull back, we came down, swing around, you're gonna wanna hold here. Bitcoin could just come all the way down though. Bitcoin doesn't have that volatile pull up. It's got a little bit, cause you can see the little flag here. So I mean, it's in our best opportunity if it does something like that. Man, that's going to be tough, though. But that's what we're looking at here for Bitcoin. It's not quite as oversold as XRP. So it does look like we're going to get some volatility out of XRP one way or the other. And I'd be, I'm optimistic here. I'm continuing to pile in, um, especially through the XRP Bitcoin pairing. When they gave me the chance at the 660 sat level, there was no way I was passing that up. It's obviously pulled up about 5 to 7% since then. So some of it's up 5 to 7 But I'm still down a couple percent here. So I'm continuing to watch this pairing play out. We'll take a brief look at it. If we're looking for a hold here in the pairing, it did come back up within this consolidation. Um, it's interesting that it actually pulled back up over that downtrending support line. It really is. It really is very impressive that it pulled back up here. And this was down to our lower support at 710. And it really does look like it created that massive bull flag off of here. So if that's the case, I mean, you could get a retest back up somewhere near the 784 sat level, but it's going to take work. It's going to take work to get back up there, but I've continued to pour in here and I'm going to continue to pile in here. And it does look like we could have had a double bottom here as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how the XRP Bitcoin pairing plays out here because we did swing all the way around. If it does bounce out, you're going to see a massive W reversal, but that remains to be seen because that could be a pipe dream still. So that's what I have for the technical analysis. If you appreciate my work, make sure to hit that like button so YouTube recommends this update. You can always send um, a YouTube super chat one time per month if you'd like to pay it forward or join Tom's Army as I would love to see more people joining the Army and expanding the cause here. As it's been a minute since we've had a new member and I would love to see new members as it is a good way to pay it forward for the show as I don't do any paid promotions, advertisements, or sponsorships of any kind. I like offering a free viewing experience, but... I do need a way to fund this program, so your generosity definitely does help. So don't be shy if you appreciate my work, as it's been a very slow go here recently. Um, so let's talk about what Ripple did. So XRP sinks as Ripple moves 200 million tokens, inviting community suspicion. Ripple allegedly moved 200 million XRP tokens to an unknown wallet. Ripple's move has allowed speculation that the company plans to abandon its native token. XRP is down 4% following the move on Friday. I don't believe they're abandoning the, the project by any means, but that's some of the speculation and conjecture that you have to be very careful about. So XRP's price decreased by about 4% on Friday following a report that Ripple moved 200 million XRP tokens to an unknown wallet. Despite the FUD, the company seems to be striking new partnerships as it prepares to be for its stablecoin launch. So XRP suffers pullback after Ripple's large sell-off. XRP is trending on Friday Following a key move from Ripple Labs, here are the latest news surrounding Ripple today. Ripple allegedly moved 200 million XRP tokens, according to a report from Finbold. The company made the transfer to an unknown wallet, stirring suspicion amongst the crypto community. On June 1st, the company released 1 billion XRP from the initial distribution locked in monthly escrows until 2027. Ripple then sent 200 million XRP to its treasury account and locked the remaining 800 million in new escrows. Additionally, the Ripple 35 account sent in an extra 200 million tokens of the sell-off reserves, totaling 400 million XRP reported Finbold. The move drew the attention of some community members who speculated that the company was planning to abandon its native token. The speculation sprung or sprang from Ripple CTO David Schwartz reminiscence of a post he made 15 years ago. When a scrappy financial startup takes on a web of corruption and betrayal, to bring instant payments to the masses, they learn the cost. They learn that the cost of disrupting the status quo is higher than they could have ever imagined, forcing them to decide between their vision and their survival. As a result, community members began to probe 
whether it had something to do with their native token. Is Ripple abandoning XRP? Someone needs to explain this ASAP, said one trader. Schwartz later clarified the intention of his initial post was a post with the reply. It's just a fictional pitch for a fictional movie. The circumstances needed to make the pitch match reality haven't happened yet, said Schwartz. Following the news of the sale, XRP saw a drop in price. The token is currently down 4% with Whale Alert reporting two other heavy transfers of 25 and 26 million XRP tokens, respectively, to unknown wallets from Binance hours after the transfer from Ripple. Meanwhile, Ripple has announced several partnerships ahead of its stablecoin launch. The, comp the company announced a partnership with Zonix, a digital asset management platform to deliver tokenization services to XRP Ledger. Ripple also announced a recent partnership with Clear Junction to enhance GBP and Euro cross-border payments for its customers. So that's one thing I wanted to read. The other thing is, and this has been getting some talk, XRP in the spotlight as Russia confirms new BRICS payment system. And we talked about the new system yesterday, especially during the live. But this is something that has been popping up here and there. So Russian President... Vladimir Putin has confirmed the plan to launch a payment system for BRICS with XRP in consideration as currency. The BRICS group is considering a new payment scheme for cross-border settlement. XRP is reportedly under consideration in this payment scheme. The move is confirmed. The move if confirmed can trigger massive rally of the coin. The BRICS group is advancing the currency sufficiency scheme with the potential development of its own independent payment system. Is XRP in view as BRICS bridge currency? According to a research paper first spotted by XRP enthusiast Amelia, Russian President Vladimir Putin has confirmed that the bloc is finally moving forward with its alternative currency plan. From the report, there are indications the bloc would explore the use of Ripple-associated XRP for cross-border payment systems or settlements. So, Crypto Barbie BRICS news. Russian President Vladimir Putin confirms BRICS is in development of its own independent payment system. And according to the document about the Central Bank of Russia, they will most likely use XRP for cross-border payment. So here's what Putin said that stirred up the speculation. Yes, including within BRICS, we're working on shaping an independent payment system, system free from political pressure, abuse, and external sanctional interference. In this regard, I'd like to remind you that this year, BRICS was joined by new participants, that is, Saudi Arabia, Iran, United Arab Emirates, Egypt, and Ethiopia. With this, the share of our association in global GDP has reached 36%, and the population of the planet up to has reached 45%. And BRICS has tremendous potential for joining of, of new participants and such strive of stakeholders from different continents can only be welcomed by us and will support it. So that was just what's been going on with uh, what Russia said. I just wanted you to understand who has joined the BRICS or who is going to be part of it. So before now, the Bank of Russia introduced a project on cross-border transfer implementation. This project reportedly considered the use of Ripple payment system. It was perceived as an excellent basis for the development of a system for cross-border settlements for this group. It is worth noting that XRP is known for its transaction speed and low cost. Hence, it seems like a viable option, a viable system the block is considering to revolutionize its international payment goals. This move to adopt the cryptocurrency may trigger a massive jump in the price of XRP. CEO and founder of Crypt Tenrez, Robert Doyle, Crypto Sensei, believes the XRP price may reach blah, 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 blah. I don't even care about all of that. Um, I don't like when they just throw out the $10,000 per token number. I just think it, it, it does a disservice to the community. Um, Ripple's growing network of alliances with well-known financial institutions is also regarded as an advantage that the BRICS nation could leverage. Generally, these participate or partnerships are indicative of XRP's growing use cases and recognition across several nations. With how much XRP has improved in the last few months, especially after Judge Annalisa Torres ruled on July 13th that the crypto is not a security, there are already discussions about the possibility of an XRP ETF. Ever since Securities and Exchange Commission SC gave its nod to spot Bitcoin ETFs, and recently to spot Ethereum ETFs, experts have begun to weigh in on the implementation of other crypto ETFs. And that's exchange traded funds. In an interview, CEO Brad Garlinghouse talked about the launch of XRP ETF. 
He highlighted that the approval of Ethereum ETFs gives him confidence that XRP might also gain approval as well. Also, Ripple President Monica Long strongly supported the XRP ETF, stating that would make a lot of sense given the current regulatory clarity surrounding XRP and Bitcoin in the U.S. Make sure to hit that like button so YouTube recommends this update. Don't forget to give thanks to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And if you made it until the end, hashtag be better, do better in the comments. And don't forget to help one person each and every day. Because if I don't do my part and you don't do your part, what is really the point of this journey to 2028? Because we're trying to pass a message of positivity over negativity, love over hate, and helpfulness over hurtfulness. We do not play the victims in the comments. We are the winners here. We are the winners. You are a winner. We get all the information from a news and charting perspective to make an educated and informed decision on what to do next. Have a blessed morning, everyone.